Alex here with a high conflict child custody video on reciprocity. I'm going to give one example and I'm going to sort of explain what this is. There are a few times that I tried to get too far into it and the video just got so convoluted. So number one, reciprocity is an approach that you take in court where whatever it is that you're asking to impose on your ex, you're also okay with being imposed on you. Typically we're talking about procedures and restrictions. So for example, if you're asking, hey, I don't want my ex to go to an appointment because she's, you know, a source of conflict at these appointments, you would be asking for something that would allow you to maybe take turns. So they would miss appointments, but so would you. Another good request that came up in my own case was my ex requesting that whoever doesn't show up at the exchange forfeits their custody time. And my approach was to say, okay, as long as she suffers the same consequences. And... Um, Clothing, you know, there was a problem with clothing thefts. Now, I could have spent three or four hours going into an evidentiary hearing and proving that my ex was stealing clothing and that she should be punished or lose the right to have my, you know, my the clothing that I bought. But no, the quickest solution was to say, hey, from now on, neither of us shares clothing. Even though I'm not a problem, it doesn't matter. I'm not focusing on the problem. I'm focusing on the solution. And that's what you're doing with reciprocity approaches. You're focusing on the solution to the problems. You're focusing less on blame, less on trying to prove who's a problem, and you're focusing more on how do we get past this. And I ended up using it many times in my case. One of the things I loved about it was I didn't have to go through the stress of a hearing. Whenever I requested some kind of reciprocal solution, the court was generally willing to just order it across, you know, across both of us. And I suppose my ex could have made a big deal about it and tried to fight it, but she really didn't. There were some times that she kind of whined and whinged and complained um, because, you know, she would sort of say, hey, I'm not doing any of this, so I don't like that I have this restriction imposed on me because it makes me feel like I'm a bad person. She focused a whole lot on her own feelings and she focused a lot on blame and she didn't really seem to understand that the purpose of going through these proceedings was to solve these problems so that we can co-parent. But in the end, her attorney didn't really let her run with it. She just kind of, you know, shut her down and just accepted the imposition of whatever it was we were trying to impose. And on many occasions, we had reciprocal orders in place. We both had to use... Um, family wizard. We both had to stay away from each other. That was a no contact order. That was reciprocal. We both couldn't share clothes. I already covered that. Forfeit your time if you don't show up. I already covered that. And um, later on, we had for a while reciprocal orders with regards to certain appointments that we could go to. Like I could only go to these appointments. She could only go to those appointments. So this is something that I stress as a valuable tool. It's also a very quick way to disarm a false accusation. And it's also one of the best ways to make you look like the solution-oriented parent in these, these high conflict cases. So across the board, reciprocity is one of the best approaches you can take to a high conflict case because it. I've already mentioned numerous advantages to it. And one of the ones that I didn't touch on was it makes, it helps to disarm the conflict. It doesn't help to to compound on it or expand it. It's one of the ways that you can sort of quiet down or calm down the back and forth and the conflict and the, and, the, and the bickering. And if anyone has any questions, I kind of feel like I'm beating a dead horse here again. So I'm not going to go any further. I mentioned that my other videos got really convoluted when I kept going into it. So go ahead and post a question. Let's do that instead. If you have any specific questions as to how far you can go with reciprocity, or any concerns that you might have with it, go ahead and post them down in the comments below and I'll definitely get back to any of my viewers who you know post a question like that. And for now, I'm gonna go ahead and say that I will see you guys next time.